in this video i will try to explain the concept behind one sample sign test one sample sign test is a non parametric test non parametric tests generally are those tests in which we don't know the distribution of the variables so in that case non parametric tests are used parametric tests are used for distributions in which we know the dist underlying distributions so for example one sample t test two sample t test anova all these are parametric tests and non parametric tests are those in which we don't know the underlying distributions so sign test one sample sign test is one of the non parametric test and it is used to test the hypothesis of kinds for example we generally test the median of our data so we set the median is equal to default value some value and the alternative is that median is not equal to the default value so here we are trying to check the median of the distribution why median because for highly skewed data median is a better marker of central tendency so that is why we have used median here so in our data which is about the birth weight data i have loaded the spss file here the dot sav format here and let us look at our data so these are the columns and i am concerned with the birth weight data so i want to check if my birth weight median is 3.38 or it is not equal to 3.38 which means it can be either greater than 3.38 or less than 3.38 so before proceeding we should always check that non parametric methods should have continuous distributions as the variable value so because i want to check the birth weight now let me check the data type so it is factor but we can see from the this that this is numeric so we need to convert it to numeric and now we can recheck so it's numeric now to do the sign test r has this library bsda we can easily install this library using install packages and we write bsda or whatever library name and then click on install and it installs it now in this command the sign dot test is a function in bsda library in which we have to give the variable for which we are testing and then the median value the default value so here the default value i have given is 3.38 so i want to check the median of birth weight in this data is 3.38 that is my hypothesis the alternative would be it's not equal to it can be the greater or less than so when i run it i see that the p value is 0.2625 which means it shows that true median is not equal to 3.38 thus i cannot reject the null hypothesis because the p value is much greater than 0.05 okay so i think so we have to say that yes in my data i don't find sufficient evidence to reject this null hypothesis we never accept null hypothesis remember we always say fail to reject now in this output you must ask what is 970 so how scientist operates it is that it essentially first sees how many observations are not 3.38 so it eliminates all those on all those observations which are not 3.38 because for them the difference in the default value and those values is zero so scientists essentially sees only those observations for which the birth weight is more than 3.38 or less than 3.38 when it is equal to 3.38 it removes those observations so we want to check how many so we want to check through this line of code how many are greater than 3.38 that means a positive deviation so 
this code shows that there are 970 observations for which the difference is positive so that is where 970 is coming from now one sample sign test is essentially a binomial test remember that if I am trying to test whether my observation is above or below a certain number the probability is 0 0.5 it can be either positive or negative my number of trials will be those observations in which the birth weight is not equal to 3.38 so here I find out those numbers for which the birth weight is not equal to 3.38 because these are the numbers for which my test will apply so I see that my out of so total number of data point is 1998 out of 1998 I have 1991 observations for which my birth weight is not 3.38 we can also check that if I make a subset of data where birth weight is equal to 3.38 and see so we can see that these are the cases okay now so I create a binomial variable using my n and this is my cases now note that half of 1991 which is my valid cases is 995 and 970 is actually less than this half value which means 970 lies to the left of the mean value so we need to compute the probability of observing the value as extreme as 970 or less because it lies on the left side and because it's a two-sided test we will double the probability so this is what this line does so when I run it it gives me the same value that the sign test had provided 0.2625 0.2624 which rounds up to 0.2625 this can be done in a different way also using an inherent function of r which is binom dot test so here if i specify my b number of trials and probability of success which is 0.5 in our case it will give us a two-sided probability which is 0.2625 exact binomial test if i want to rather test if it's greater than 3.38 then I run this test so it is not not greater than 3.38 because the probability the p-value is much higher than 0 0.05 and if I run to less then it's 0 0.1312 and if you double this we essentially get 0 0.2625 so this is the one-sided probability so through this test we can say that in the data we don't have sufficient evidence to say that median is not equal to the default value so if we cannot reject null hypothesis we accept it so this is brief overview of how one sign test is done in R it is called a sign test <coughs> because we are ultimately trying to see how many observations lie above 3.38 or below 3.38 generally in sign test we compute all those of number of observations for which the sum the total number of observations for which the given value is more than the default value so the observed value is more than the default value so if we count those observations in our case it was 970 we created a binomial variable and then we computed the probability so I hope you understood one sample sign test in R if you have any questions please write to me I am sharing this script also with the video so that you can try at home and one more thing I read this dot sv dot sev format you can also read any other file read dot csv and file name dot csv and apply the same steps okay thank you for watching stay tuned to understand more about statistical analysis in r thank you